Yo, what's up? It's your boy D.L. Stewart. It's February, which means Valentine's Day is just later this week. So, I'm doing the Valentine's Day writing tag that came out, I think, last year. I'm not sure. But, um, I'm doing it now. So, yeah. Question number one. Which character does something epic for another character on Valentine's Day, only to have it go epically wrong? I would have to say Cornelius. He is followed by a long stream of bad luck in the story. He has good intentions, um, but things just don't work out for him. So, I would have to say Cornelius. Number two. Nine million people buy their pets a gift for Valentine's Day. Which of your characters does this, and what's the gift? I would say probably Azrael. Um, he has a pet, uh, Strix, named Rai. And, uh, I would say it'd be some type of food, like a luxury type food. Um, he's very wealthy. He's the Lord of Tallinn, which is the richest capital, um, in all of Metagor. Um, possibly even the entire planet, so I would have to say Azrael. Question number three. Which character is celebrating Singles Awareness Day, and how do they celebrate? I would have to say Gallic. His wife, Vina, died years prior to the story, but he goes to her burial site um, regularly and visits with her and stuff. So I would say it would be him, and that's how he would spend it. He would be going toward or to his uh, wife's burial grounds and you know maybe drinking some wine or something. Um, to spend the day with her. Question four. In 1537, King Henry VIII declared February 14th the official holiday of St. Valentine. The same King Henry who beheaded two of his six wives. Which character decides to murder someone on February 14th? I would say Darius. Darius is very brutal. He thrives off of torturing people. Um, and if you cross his path and you know, anger him, um, you're more likely going to end up dead. So, I would say it would be um, just, you know, someone just rubbing him the wrong way, I guess. Question five. Which character writes and performs a sappy love song for their crush? I would have to say Malar, maybe. Um, he's very humble. And he's very family oriented. Um, I don't really know if he would write or perform a sappy love song, which kind of de defeats the purpose of the question. But I could see him being the lovey dovey type that would do something maybe similar for his wife. I don't know. I'm going to go with him. Number six. Fill in the blanks. I saw blank give a box of blanks to blank, which made them wildly blank. Uh, I'm going to kind of go out of the box a little bit here. I saw Catherine give a box with cutting shears to Percy, which made them wildly irate. Uh, let me kind of explain that a little bit, because that sounds kind of weird, I'm, I'm sure. Catherine thinks of himself as a player. He goes from chick to chick, you know, um, he, he doesn't really settle down or anything like that. He's just in it to romp with people. Um, and there's a scene in the book where he's kind of talking to Percy, which is a dryad, and he talks about her fern looking a little dry and that maybe he could wet it for her. So I could see him maybe having like pruning shears saying, you know, maybe her bush is kind of getting out of hand and maybe he can trim it for her. I don't know. Um, just him being perverted and trying to flirt with her or whatever. And Percy's the type that's just like, eh, no, get away from me. Um, so, that would be my answer. <laughs> Question 7. Every February, the Italian city of Verona receives approximately 1,000 letters addressed to Juliet. Which character writes a love letter to someone who does not exist, and what does it say? I'd say Azen maybe would write a letter. Um... There's not a holiday, but there is a cultural uh, celebration type thing. Um, not necessarily on a set day, but you know, each person can celebrate whenever. Where they would write letters or prayers and put it in a river to drift down to their dead god. So, I 
could see him writing a love letter and putting it in the river to float down. Um, or a letter saying that he hopes to find love, maybe. Question 8. Which character breaks up with their significant other on Valentine's Day by a text message? Or an equally awful way if there are no texts in your world? I would say maybe Azrael. Um, he really has no respect for other people um, when it comes to relationships or anything like that. Um, and he usually has other people kind of do his dirty work for him. Question 9. In Finland, Valentine's Day isn't romantic. It's called Yestavanpaiva. Or Friends Day. Which character celebrates Friends Day by playing a massive prank? I would say Kasky. Kasky just seems to be the practical joker. He's a little cynical at times. Um, but he's very much of a dick when he kind of would play pranks or whatever. But I would say I could see him doing it the most. Question 10. One of your characters consumes too much chocolate and champagne gets sick all over the love of their life. Which character is it? Um, again, I will have to say Cornelius just because of the bad luck he has. Um, so I would say you know, um, he doesn't really have the love of his life in the story or you know, at that point in time. But with his bad luck, I could see if he did, he'd be getting sick and maybe puke all over them or something. So yeah, that would be my answers for the Valentine's Day writing tag. So if y'all liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. You can click subscribe, ring that bell to get notifications whenever I do more videos and post them on here. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, email, newsletter, whatever. Um, all my links are down below, as well as my website. If you would like to be an ARC reviewer or be part of my street team to help promote the book that I just described these characters from, which is The Battle for Metagor. It is due to release later this late spring, early summer. Um, still not completely set on a date. I have a date in mind, which I'm going to try for. Um, but I don't want to reveal it, just in case things don't really plan out or pan out but yeah when i know for sure i will let y'all know or whoever watches that video if y'all don't but either way i will let y'all know so yeah yelly everybody love everybody